this is just a quick video on optimizing equipment in this case your uh, foam injector and or mixer uh, we'll go over a few things that you might do to improve its performance and if I've missed anything feel free to add your tips down in the comments here we go for many people this is the standard mixer and you have your foam wand right here attached to this plastic pipe thing this thing is glued and taped and screwed on and it um, puts out foam at the bottom. A couple things I don't like about this. Now I don't know about you but I find this kind of ergonomic so a little irritating. Another thing is this is a plastic fitting. Putting a foot long arm on it is just going to give you all kinds of problems uh, in that you're putting a lot of stress on that every time this moves. So a smarter method is to replace whatever fitting they had on there originally with a tube. The tube can come down through the handle and attach to the mixer uh, just like all the other tubes do. Leaves a lot more room for your hand and also doesn't stress this fitting at all. And if this gets damaged, it's easily replaced. Now I'm a bit of a minimalist, so what I do is I just have a piece of scrap plastic with two holes drilled in it. One, of course, for the shaft and the other one for the tube. Now you can pin it or glue it if you so desire and if you want to make sure it maintains this position you can get another one of those uh, blocks that are pretty easy to make and put it right up here and that will maintain it exactly where it ought to be. Now you'll notice that a lot of um, shafts come in two pieces and so that nut will provide a surface for this thing to ride on. This particular one didn't so as you can see here I just put a washer, any old washer, stainless is good. Um, in there and that keeps it out of the blades. Also you might notice that all, hopefully all of your mixers have this round ring. You want that. Um, no matter what mixer you use, uh, it's nice to have that round ring because if you don't have it, it's a bumpy ride and you will end up destroying a lot of buckets. So choose wisely. As a side note, this here is your instant kill switch. I was uh, mixing something the other day and this thing popped out of gear and I reached down while I was still um, mixing and basically popped it back into gear and immediately smoked the motor. So uh, try not to do that. Now if you're mixing it in a plastic barrel, the plugs that come with it will have a knockout and then inside of the knockout will have three quarter inch threads in it or some pipe thread so you can actually inject your foam straight into the bottom of your cement slurry without worrying about a foam injector on your mixer at all. Another advantage of these plastic barrels is as you can see you can deform them if you want to make this the lowest point when you're um, draining the barrel you can actually put hot water or hot sand in there and um, deform it to your liking.